Tiana wants to do it all by herself. Oh, 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 good, good job, baby. Good job, oh my gosh, you're doing so good. Good job. That was awesome. Baby girl. Wow. Good morning, everybody from Whitefish, Montana. We are actually here on a trip hosted by Wander. Don't mind whatever's going on behind me. We never know, um, but we are here. It's morning. It is a chilly, snowy day. It's gorgeous here in the mountains, and we are about to set out on an adventure. So basically, we want to go skiing or snowboarding today, but John and I don't have snow pants, so we're heading to get some snow pants. We're going to have some snow fun, and we're going to take you along. I got my car wheel. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> Woo! You want daddy to try one? Yeah. Daddy hasn't done a car wheel in maybe 30 years. That's what it's so great. <laughs> show your husband it. All right, show me. Okay. Oh, just like that, huh? Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll I'm show too you. old. Ready? Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ready? Ready? Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Good job. All right, I can do it on the carpet. Watch this. <laughs> Are you ready to go get some snow pants for mommy and daddy so we can do something fun? Yes. <laughs> Tiana, do you want to show everybody where our coats and gloves are? Yeah, I still you. All right. The eyelashes, the snow eyelashes. Wait, so you're in it? Yes. See? If you guys remember in a recent video, I showed you this jacket I got off Facebook Marketplace. It has come in so handy, especially for this trip. She won't be quiet about this jacket. $15. <laughs> Are you hissing at them again? Ready, guys? I think so. I don't Where's know. Okay. Um, oh, let me guess. You didn't put it where it belongs in your locker. Oh, shocker. <laughs> We just got into the town of Kalispell. It is such a cute little town with gorgeous views. We are actually staying up on Whitefish Mountain. So we came down the mountain. And what's really cool here is that it takes forever for the sun to rise and set because we are so far north. So there's like a glow almost all day long and I've been loving it so far. And now we are here at a thrift store because we are gonna try to find some snow pants and we rather shop local and secondhand. So hopefully we can find something here. So they don't have any men's, but they have this pair of women's that's a little bit taller. Let's just see. Whatever. Oh, sweet. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, I can't zip it. What, what, can you make it work? I don't think so. I don't think so. My turn. These are actually nice ones. <laughs> Score. I'm just going to go without pants. You cannot. You'll complain yeah. the whole time. I mean, like, no pants at all. Oh, okay. That'll be good. <laughs> Did you find a toy, baby girl? Look. Oh, that's cool. Is that the one you're going to get? It looks like a Peppa Pig. It comes oh, with this. Oh, it's a whole set. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we finally made it back from our snow pants extravaganza in town. Actually ended up going with that women's pair of pants because it was either that or spend $180 on a new pair of pants and you guys already know which one I chose. But anyway, we got back, we ate some lunch and now I'm really excited to do this. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of this amazing home. This is probably one of the nicest homes we've ever stayed in. Again, this is owned and operated by a company called Wonder. We're gonna tell you guys all about them later, but first, I'm gonna give you guys a tour. So right when you pull up, you already know you're in for a treat because of the amazing architecture, all of those awesome windows, and check out the view that you are surrounded by. It looks even better from the inside. 
but let's get inside because I'm a little bit chilly. So right when you walk in, you were greeted by this beautiful entry area. This is the first of three floors, but don't worry, they got you covered because this house actually comes with an elevator. Over to my left, you actually have a mud room with a full washer and dryer. Through the garage, you actually have a place to park your car, of course, but they did something really smart and put in a gym over here. So one thing about Wonder is they want you to have all the things that a typical luxury hotel would offer, and they have thought of that and put that in here for you. We go back through the mud room, back through the entry area, and you actually have a full-size bedroom down here with an ensuite bathroom. All right, let's head up to my favorite floor, the main floor. Check this out. I don't even know where to start because this entire floor is my favorite part of the house. Look at those tall ceilings, incredibly cozy living room with the double-sided fireplace that actually goes through to this humongous dining room table. And just look at the views you're surrounded with, guys. There's not a bad view in this house. And then you can go through here and there's actually an outdoor area with seating, another fireplace, and then imagine sitting right here, eating breakfast or dinner, while you check out the view of the slopes and watch people come skiing or snowboarding down the mountain. It doesn't get much better than this. Let's get inside. And now to most of y'all's favorite area in the house, check out this kitchen. Well, I wanna show the kitchen. You wanna show them the kitchen? Yeah, I heard you getting close, okay. so. Okay, this kitchen is amazing. John's probably already said everything's amazing, but the kitchen is my favorite part. So it's beautiful, big, everything is high end. It's Viking appliances, and they also have everything you need in here. Look at this. This is like one of my favorite things. Ready? A coffee bar, a stowaway coffee bar, complete with every coffee you could ever want, all the different flavors. And there's so much amazing stuff in here. It's fully stocked. Like you honestly don't need anything else to cook with except the food. And they even left us some food and snacks when we first got here. And we're gonna show you even more of the kitchen tonight when Tiana and I make a soup. Um, so it's gonna be really fun, but I'll let John finish his house tour and show you the rest of the cool spaces. All right, let's continue this tour back to the primary bedroom. So you have this humongous walk-in closet right here with plenty of storage. And guys, I know I said it a million times, but they have thought of everything. That is a fold-out crib and a high chair so that you don't have to bring any of that with you. They've got you covered. And you ready for this? Check this out. This is your view from your bed. Does it get better than that? I'm not sure guys, it's incredible. Something really nice is this work area, which is my favorite because I've actually plugged everything in over here and this is my view while I'm working. All of the bedrooms have their own workstation, which is really nice. And then back over here, you actually have a humongous bathroom with double sinks. And then you have a gigantic walk-in shower with the rain head, of course, and these super comfortable robes. And they even got the slippers there for you too. We're gonna be using these later when we get in the hot tub, which is our next stop. So you go through here and you come to that area we showed you earlier, the ski room. So this is set up in a way so that you can literally ski down or snowboard down the mountain. It brings you right out here and you can just come in here, take all your stuff off, put it away in these lockers and have it ready for when you're ready to go next. They also have boot warmers and glove warmers. And then out here, you have your very own sauna and hot tub. Guys. <laughs> I'm so excited to use both of these later and the views from the hot tub, of course. And now we're gonna go back inside and I'm going to take you guys to the third and final floor. So this third floor would actually be Tiana's favorite floor. It's got another awesome sitting area slash TV room. Views on views on views, they just don't stop. And now we head down the hallway off to my right. You have another really nicely designed bathroom. And behind me, it's probably a surprise in here, is the kids' room with the TV and the bunk beds. And who do we have here? Uh-huh, I should have known this is where you guys would be. We're hiding from you. Tiana, is this your favorite room? Oh yeah. All right, let me finish this tour because I feel like it's been like an hour. Okay. All right, and then back here, you have a couple more bedrooms. Again, all of the bedrooms are so nice and beautifully designed that nobody would be fell left out if they had to choose one bedroom or the other. So this is the last bedroom on the third floor here. But like I said, nobody's missing out. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. As you saw, this place is absolutely insane. It is definitely one of the coolest places we've ever stayed before. 
by far the most amazing views, and it's been different than anything we've experienced because Wander combines the consistency and quality of a luxury hotel with the space and comfort of having your own home. So it's like having a vacation home, but better because it comes with all of the Wander amenities. And one of my favorite amenities so far has been the 24 seven concierge service. They have been so helpful in answering all of my questions and even giving us local recommendations. We have loved our experience so far and we are so so excited to tell you about Wander's giveaway and how you can enter. So all you need to do to get the chance to win a two night luxury stay at one of Wander's properties is go to wander.com or click the link in the description below and create a Wander account. That's all you have to do to enter the giveaway. Winners will be notified by March 31st by hello at wander.com. And on that note, thank you so much Wander for the opportunity to stay here. We are gonna go get bundled up in our snow gear and see what winter sports are all about. I'm ready. We also got these from the thrift store. I forgot to show you guys, but they're face cut because they said you're like snot and your spit and everything will freeze to your face. So we each got one of these three for a dollar. Look at my get up here. What a deal. Oh yeah. And Tiana, you want to show them your snow outfit? Tiana's busy over here making waffles. Yeah, we were about to head out the door. She needed a last minute waffle to take with us. Tiana, let's see your outfit. Oh yeah, I like it. Styling and profiling. <laughs> There's your waffle, here you go. It's Jerry. Can I show him your outfit? Yep, complete with the women's pants that are... <laughs> this is the top of the bib, and because I can't zip it up, I just fasten it right here. Nobody will ever know. No, they're just a little bit short. They're a little... Oh, a little tight. <laughs> All right. We're gonna try your boots. Get you set first the first time. Yeah, yeah. And we'll get those drunk. So. <laughs> Tiana's first snowboard. She's not in the best mood because she's a little hot. So am I. All right, so I think we finally have everything we need. That was quite the process. Getting the forms filled out, paying, getting your shoe size, getting your helmet size, and getting your snowboard. But we're all figured out now. We're heading out to the slopes. Tiana said her legs were tired, so she had to lay down flat and eat snow. We've only made it about 50 feet, and we still have to make it to this lift right here. Well, in another turn of events, the lift, or the bunny lift for the kids, actually closes at four, not five. So they said we could go get a refund, but we're not giving up that easy. We're gonna walk up the hill. What do you think, baby? Good. Okay, you doing okay? Oh, there she goes again. So we had to get Ski Patrol to help us out because Rihanna couldn't even figure out how to get in her own board. <laughs> Actually, the real reason that Ski Patrol is here is because Tiana already slid her board all the way down the hill by itself and he brought it back up to us. So, Tiana, can you hang on to that? I thought so. <laughs> all right, Rihanna is finally strapped into her snowboard. Let's see how this goes. Oh, oh really good. So Rihanna's biggest fear was that she was going to rent the, the beginner one and need the more advanced one. That was her biggest fear. Come on, baby. Oh my goodness. You got this. I'll try. Baby girl, you having a blast? Just eating snow? All right, I'm sending you. You got you to gotta stand up. You got a snowboard. Babe, just fall back on your back if you can't make it. Ready? Don't grab the poles and rip the stuff down. All right, love you. There you go, good job. That was good. Good job, babe. Yeah, wipe out. You ready to do it by yourself? Now listen, listen, if you fall down, you fall backwards, okay? I'm scared to let her go. <laughs> Tiana wants to do it all by herself. Oh, 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 you're a good job, baby. Good job, oh my gosh, you're doing so good. 
Good job! That was awesome! Baby girl! Wow! You did way better than mommy! <laughs> no, she was drunk! Girl! High five! Yes! Girl! That was super... Is there anything you can't do? Oh, you scared me for a minute, but... Oh my goodness. All right, baby girl's taking a little break and eating some snow. Girl, please don't eat all the snow on the mountain because then we won't have anything to snowboard on, okay? All right, I'm ready. You got to do better than Tiana or the whole vlog's going to laugh at you. Oh, come on now. Don't get outshined by a five-year-old. There you go. Stay up. Stay up. Ride it out. All the way. All the way. Don't fall. Don't fall. There you go. On your butt. On your butt. Fall backwards on your butt. Oh, uh, where are you going? Oh. <laughs> Good job, babe. I thought you were going to go through the green mesh and into the ski house. You want another try? You love it, don't you? Girl, I cannot express how cool that was to watch you do that. You're awesome. Daddy's turn. Easy. I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty sure I did the best out of the three of us. Now the girls are back here. And they're going to try again and come down at the same time. Let's see how it goes. But real quick, can we just take a second to talk about how beautiful this is? Now I see why people ski and snowboard just for the views alone. That was a lot of work. Yes, but the lift was closed because we got there too late today. So we had to walk up and down the slopes. Um, and I think that's why it was like so much harder. Tomorrow the lift will be open. I feel like my hair, is my hair crazy? I overdressed too. I got really warm, which is better than being cold. But overall that was fun. And Tiana was the best snowboarder. Yeah, I was gonna say, besides all of that, Tiana impressed me so much. Mm -hmm. Like she did fall the first time because I was just like, I think she's gonna keep going. So I should have caught her a little bit earlier. But you gotta learn how to fall too. That I was, was fun. so mad what? because I was the worst out of all three of you us. You were talking all and that this trash. This is my dream activity. <laughs> you were talking all that trash, and you did the third best. Said it to the worst. Thank you, babe. <laughs> that was really fun, though. And um, are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm starving. Let's okay. Eat. I'm starting to prep everything for dinner. Tiana said she just needed to relax, so she'll probably come down and help me make dinner. So what I'm gonna do is cut everything up, put it in little bowls, and then let her do the exciting part, which is putting it in a pot on the stove. Tonight, I'm going to be making potato corn chowder. It's gonna be a great comfort food on this cold night, and even better than that, I'm so excited to cook in this kitchen. I've actually never used Viking appliances, and they're a chef's dream. So I'm gonna be like trying to cook as much stuff as possible in the next two days. Look who decided to join us. <laughs> this one? Yes, all of it. But hold it low. There you go, perfect. Now this one, you need to do it like that or it's gonna splash everywhere, okay? Yeah. The potatoes. I had to high. Low, low, low. There you go. Like the food. And done. Now? You just need to put the top on and we gotta <gasps> let it cook for like 20 or 30 minutes. No, I don't want my show now. Let me guess. That's what I thought you were gonna do. Go watch your show. Bye, little teenager. No, come with me. Come with you? Mm -hmm. You're not watching stuff that makes you scared, are you? You know what we 
forgot to put back on after you. Give it here. <laughs> here, you can do it. Okay, fine. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, perfect. Perfect. Tana, why are you looking? Wait. How many eyes do you have? Two. Oh, uh, Mom, freaking out right now. <laughs> well, how are you looking at me both forwards and backwards? What in the world? Would you like to set the table? Yeah. Okay. You pick our seats, okay? Mommy, so right there. Okay. Mommy, Daddy. Thank you for setting the table. Where's your seat? Right here? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Wait, who are you sitting beside? Daddy. Yay! Oh. I love when I get picked. It looks really good. Go ahead and try it, Tiana. Scared. <laughs> 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 good, yeah. Good morning from this winter wonderland. It is pouring snow right now with another 10 inches predicted today. Last night we just cozied up in the cabin, enjoyed the fire and just hung out. And today we have a fun adventure planned if we can make it there. We are supposed to be going snowmobiling this morning about 30 minutes away. Everybody here who's local said this is fine. You can drive like we treat the roads and stuff. Um, but it's not looking super promising, but we're going to trust them. We have a RAV4 and we're going to try to drive to the snowmobiling place. We're very excited. This will be our first time snowmobiling ever and John's been dying to do it and it looks super fun. The first step is getting out of the driveway. If I don't hit that trash can, I'll call it a success. Oh my goodness. Look, you did it. It's so much snow. So far, so good. The snow is like, I know this isn't gonna make sense, but the snow is like so thick, it's actually kind of sticky. It doesn't feel like slippery or anything like that. And other people are driving around, so. It should be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. The locals were right as always. And as soon as we got out of the ski resort, the roads are plowed and there's tons of people driving around. And when we were leaving our house, they were actually plowing right there too. Um, so we just got a little bit earlier start than the plow, but it's looking pretty good now. What do you think? I think as long as we follow this guy, we'll be just fine. I think this is the salt truck. And so I'm just gonna oh, follow, yeah. follow behind him. He's not going really fast, but that's okay. These kids go to school no matter what. I'm actually back again because I have a quick question, a poll if you will. Does anybody else's partner, husband, wife, whatever, wear jacket in the car and then put the window down when it's 11 degrees the outside? The driver should have full control over the vehicle. So if I want the windows down, I should be able to put the windows down. But why don't you just take your jacket off? Because I'm like, I'm hot, but the window down cools me off just enough not to be hot. And taking your jacket off while seated is one of the most frustrating things in the world. Okay, then why don't you just take your jacket off before you get in the car? Because this happens every single don't time. Don't bring your common sense around me. I don't need it. I don't need the energy. How y'all doing? Good, how are you doing? Good. His name's Steve. Can you say hi, Steve? What's up, I'm Steve. How are you? What's your name? <laughs> We made it here to go snowmobiling. We are at Northwest Montana Adventures and we are about to get geared up back here. John's already back there getting all of his gear. I'm so excited. We're gonna go on a big loop and see the forest and the mountain and everything. You got your helmet on? <laughs> Which one are you gonna wear, baby? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, arm in. Good job. Oh, that one fits. Here we go. Zip up. What's up, everybody? So this is Steve. He is going to be our guide for today. He's going to take us around, show us all the cool spots. We're super excited. Anything we need to know? I don't think so. It's going to be a good day. We're lucky to have snow and welcome to Montana. Go ahead and get on. Yeah, go ahead. You're going to sit on the back seat.
All right, so we made it to our first stop, which is this yurt that they have set up on top of the mountain. He said they have a fireplace inside, some hot chocolate and some hot cider, which all sound amazing right now because we're freezing cold. But you almost forget about the cold for a second because guys, how beautiful is this? The whole ride up, I just was like, I couldn't stop looking at it. We're warming up by the fire. It feels so good. We're gonna have some cider and some hot chocolate, thanks to Steve. And we are actually doing the 28 mile trip to the yurt and back, but there is a 45 mile half day loop. We decided not to opt for that just because this is Tiana's first time out on a snowmobile and um, it's cold. So we're gonna let her do the shorter one, see how she likes it. And so far, insanely gorgeous it's like this incredible. is exactly what i was yes. like, hoping it would be and it's amazing yes it's been so much fun i can't stop like taking my phone out to film but then i immediately regret it because my hand freezes um but lesson learned but it's literally i just can't stop looking at how pretty it is That was amazing. Steve was the best guide. It was so beautiful. It was like a fairy tale or Narnia. It honestly felt like fake back there because it was so gorgeous. And at one point I actually dropped our GoPro off the snowmobile into the snow and we thought we lost like a whole bunch of our footage. And then Steve saved the day and he found it with his feet by walking up and down the trail. I felt so bad that I dropped it, but he found it we're all good now so what you guys saw was saved by steve but this place is truly awesome northwest montana adventures you have to check it out if you're in this area and go snowmobiling or if it's a non-snow season you can go side by siding on the trails and that would be gorgeous as well thank you guys so much for taking us out today we loved it and now we're trying to make it back in town before the slopes close because i want to try snowboarding one more time i don't know if we'll make it because the roads are a little bit treacherous right now but fingers crossed we do Little update for you guys. We made it to Kalispell and we got chai lattes. They're amazing. We actually had them the other day. So good. It is really good. I actually took your word for it. I got a regular latte last time. You said this chai was like one of your favorite ever. I know YouTubers are always saying ever. that, but I swear this is a really good chai. So now I wanted to update you because we are actually stuck in traffic. There's a blizzard morning. It is gorgeous outside, but it's hard to get up the mountain. Like there's traffic all the way up right now. So we called the ski desk and they are going to extend our reservation and let us go out on the slopes tomorrow instead. So we don't have to feel rushed back through the traffic. It's okay. We're actually going to go back and warm up in the hot tub. That's the plan. Yes, I can't wait to get in the hot tub and I'm actually kind of glad that we're going out tomorrow now because today we can just kind of like chill and warm up from the snowmobiling and Tiana's a little bit tired because She's not on it a was phone a lot right of adventure. It's not a phone, that's actually a study tablet. Yeah, it's a calculator in <laughs> yeah, case you're cal wondering. She's playing with a calculator. Here we go. A little bit cold on the feet, that's okay. Oh, that feels good actually. Yeah, it does. I catch one. I caught some too. Uh huh. Did you catch one? I caught three. I got three, mm -hmm. I got four. It's our last day here at the Wander. We just packed all of our stuff because it's almost time for us to check out. Unfortunately, I had a really peaceful morning drinking my coffee by the fireplace before everybody else was up. But honestly, this whole trip has just been a dream. This is always the worst part, checking out. But I guess all good things must come to an end. But honestly, this has been like an 11 out of 10 experience. We highly recommend it. 
Don't forget to enter for your chance to win a stay at one of these amazing places. And also if you're just booking it, I was thinking about this earlier, mm -hmm. if you booked it with like two or three couples and split the cost, you could get like a quality resort stay for less than you would pay at one of these fancy resorts or these high-end hotels and you get the whole place to yourself. So keep that in mind as well, but yes, this has been amazing. We will definitely be staying at more Wonder Properties and I'm sad to check out, but I'm excited to go snowboarding again and watch you fall down. <laughs> yes, so we're gonna finish off this video by going snowboarding one more time. It is now sunny outside and there's fresh powder everywhere, which is everybody's favorite thing around here, I've learned. So we're gonna go snowboarding again. We have a little more time today. So enjoy watching us learn and watching me excel and end up becoming better than everybody else. Fresh powder bra, is that how they do it? <laughs> yeah. Or is that surfing? I'm not sure. I think that's surf. That's Hawaii. I don't think we need to fresh anything. We just need to go <laughs> slow and steady. <laughs> slow and steady. We, I know how to start, don't know how to stop. You don't know how to start or stop. And Tiana doesn't know how to stop either. <laughs> she knows how to start though. She does know how to start. She did amazing. I'm still, I don't want to talk about it anymore, but pretty proud talk dad. about it. I'm a pretty proud dad. I know. Right <laughs> All right, let's go, baby girl. Remember, do not fall to It's okay, I got you. You're doing good, you're doing good. I got you. I got you, calm down, I got you. Good job. I told you I got you. All right, scoot out, come on. There you go, scoot out. There you go, come on. You got it. Girl, you're a professional. I got you. It's okay, it's okay. I got you. <laughs> Good job, babe. Okay, okay, professional. Ready? I'm professional. I gotta do the other foot first. Uh huh. I don't, I don't, I don't do the other foot, right foot first. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm on the first beginner slope off the magic carpet. Tiana needed a break, so Jean took her inside. She's like so tired from um, everything we've been doing, but I am gonna snowboard down this hill. I've done it twice. Um, last time I only fell two times, and Jean told me to film this time, so either I'll lose the GoPro, or you guys will get to see me fall a bunch of times. We'll see. Oh, I got it, I got it. Too fast. Made it. Only fell five times. Baby girl, you like it so far? Yeah. You love it? She keeps saying, let's race them, let's race them. Are she, you warm? She says she's fine. I want to race. <laughs> okay. You race. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would win. Then my daddy wins. Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs>